Hey, what's up, guys? I thought I'd talk about um, something that I think a guy named Zach brought up over on Macro Magic about his dad and uh, how he's severely overweight and diabetic and I think he had like some other issues or some shit. And he was talking about how, uh, you know, he was trying to get his dad to fit them macros and try to lose weight and junk. And first off, I'm assuming this kid's probably about 18 to 20, 21, somewhere out there. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he, maybe he lives with his dad or he's fairly young, whatever. And that's, that's some badass shit, dude. Just want to say props to him and everybody else that sit there and uh, think about their parents, their parents' health and everything. Because a lot of times... As people get older, they, you know, they kind of quit thinking about that. They get, they, they've been eating so bad for so long and so much food and not working out and become more sedentary and, um, and they're getting older. And so they don't require as many, as many calories to, to maintain. And so, you know, they just continue getting fatter and fatter and fatter. And over the years and years and years, it just builds up and, end up having a lot of health issues and shit like that so you know props to him and everybody else that you know want to step up and help their parents out that's awesome shit but what I wanted to get to was the whole macro thing macros isn't for everybody all right guys sitting here trying to figure out how many proteins and how many carbs and how many fats you're gonna eat every single day and what you gonna have in this meal and how many you gonna have in this meal and all that bullshit. It's, a, it's fucking tedious, time consuming, fucking pain in the ass. Y'all fucking know it. If you do it, you fucking know it. It's pain in the ass. But you know what? Some of us are fucking retarded and we like doing that stupid shit. And so we do it. We find enjoyment out of it. I enjoy the fuck out of it. And that's why I do it. I like, I like tweaking my macros here and there and seeing how my body reacts and you know, from go day to day, and that's that's what I enjoy. So that's what I do. I don't do it because I compete, because I don't fucking compete. Now I know I heard. Uh, I think Mark the other day was talking about athletes or something like that. Okay, maybe I am an athlete because I do compete with myself, and I do get in the gym and I bust my fucking ass, and I do sit there and I, I eat the correct foods to have you know to make my body the best it can be whenever I feel like it, but. You know, I don't compete on a professional level, so I don't feel I'm an athlete, but fuck it, you know what? Someone want to sign me on as an athlete, sponsor my shit, go ahead. <laughs> I'm down with it. Um, anyway, back to the whole macro thing. And obese people, I don't think you need to be bringing up macro tracking to obese people. It really doesn't, it's really not needed. All they got to do is just sit there and eat a healthy lifestyle choice you know diet choice and uh and pretty much that's it i mean they don't even have to get up and walk yet if they just get up if they just change what they're eating and eat the correct foods just you know a clean whole food i know i hate i know people hate hearing that in the macro world but a clean whole food that's going to prevent them from overeating because they're not going to sit there and eat a whole box of oreos because they're not eating those and they're not going to sit there and eat a whole fucking box of rice because who the fuck wants to eat a whole box of rice so they're going to sit there and they're going to eat whatever rice they want to eat with their chicken and the broccoli and their oatmeal and, and whatever the fuck you know get them into that give them about a month a month or two of just eating a clean diet and then automatically they'll start seeing changes in their life just like that and then you start introducing better tracking guidelines like and I know I told him Weight Watchers because Weight Watchers is a good program I think Weight Watchers is kind of like it's like a uh, macro tracking for dummies I guess you know you go off of some point system I think and they kind of got it all figured out to where you know you get these points and blah 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 but in the end you end up eating you know good foods and you stay under your calorie intake that you need it and you're getting you know you're getting some fats and some carbs and some and some uh, proteins everything looks good I mean it's it's a great program and as long as you stick with it you'll lose weight 
and that's that's the goal. That's what they need to find. They need to find something. They need to find something that they that they enjoy doing. If they don't enjoy Weight Watchers, then they don't even fucking do it. If they, all they want to do is just sit there and, you know, eat uh, eat whatever you tell them to eat or whatever you prepare for them, then so be it. That's what you're going to do. But, it, you know, if they want some flexibility, they can try Weight Watchers or some other program like that. I know there's some other ones out there. Um, quick, weight, quick Weight Loss Center or some super shit. I don't know. Uh, and then they need to start getting active. You know what? After they... they'll. When, once they change their food for, I don't know, one or two months, they'll be dropping some weight. They start feeling better about themselves. They need to get active, whether it's going to Walmart and shopping or whatever the fuck they want to do. You need to get out and move. You need to you need to encourage them to get out more and move, whether it's just walking around the neighborhood, going over the park and walking, um, walking the dog, whatever they just need to get out and move bottom line they don't have to get they don't have to worry about oh i need to get my heart rate monitor and i need to have my heart at this time this specific number for this amount of minutes blah blah, blah. they don't have to be that that detailed in it all they gotta do is just do some fucking change for the good and they're gonna start losing weight they're gonna start feeling about it better about themselves and then all you need is time all right guys they got fat it took them years some people decades of getting fat, getting to that level of fatness, and then staying there and fucking enjoying the shit out of it. I ain't gonna lie. I used to be fat, and I enjoyed the fuck out of it, because I'd go out and I'd eat, you know, I'd go and hit the donut shop in the morning, get my apple fritters and shit, and then I'd hit fucking, like, Burger King or Jack in a Box or Whataburger or fucking some steak place or whatever, and then... Same thing for dinner. I'd go out for dinner, and then in between all that, I'd eat whatever, the, you know, candy bars, whatever the fuck I wanted to eat, and I was a fat fuck, bottom line. But I made my changes, and everybody else can make their changes. It just takes time. You got to kind of ease into it slowly, and then eventually what will happen is it'll become their new lifestyle, and now they have a lifestyle change, and that's really what you're looking for is – getting out of that old mentality of eating whatever the fuck you want to eat and just sitting there and being, you know, obese and lazy and slowly dying at an early age into a new lifestyle of having all this fucking energy, doing whatever the fuck you want to do, not really worrying about having food controlling your fucking life like that. And then they get to fucking live longer. And that's the key for these young kids like Zach that are sitting here worried about their parents and blah, 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 is in a few years, this dude, and I'm assuming he doesn't have any kids because I know fucking some kids have kids and shit, but assuming he doesn't have any kids, but in a few years, this dude's going to be popping out some kids with his, with his woman and shit and, and his, his mom and dad are going to want to, want to, you know, live long enough to be able to enjoy them grandkids. I know grandparents enjoy the fuck out of their grandkids, so... Why not live longer to enjoy that shit? And the way to fucking do it is to eat better, treat your fucking body right, and take care of yourself. That's that's it. That's bottom line. So all you gotta do is get out there and get them to slowly make them little changes like that. And they'll be good. Alright guys? They don't need to track them fucking macros. That's for us sadistic motherfuckers. <laughs> That's all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment below. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Later.